Welcome to Tinseltown, where relationships can last for just seconds and affairs are aplenty. Some celebrity cheaters add insult to injury by shacking up with women half their age. With that in mind, here are some famous husbands with an affinity for younger mistresses. There was a time when we believed in love, but that was before Gavin Rossdale and Gwen Stefani ended their 13-year marriage in 2015. This rock star household turned into a tragic kingdom when Rossdale allegedly cheated with Mindy Mann, the family's longtime nanny. According to Us Weekly, his three-year affair was quite calculated. Mann would bring the kids to visit their dad while he was on tour, and then the two of them would jump into bed after the kids were asleep. At the time, Rossdale was 50 and Mann was in her late 20s. Stefani would have probably never found out if Rossdale hadn't linked his phone to the family's iPad. But he did do that, and then she discovered illicit texts and photos on the device. Stefani had just sung at the Grammys the day before she found that evidence. In 2016, she told Harper's Bazaar, It was the beginning of hell, like six, seven, eight months of torture, trying to figure out this big secret. Rossdale reportedly confessed months later, but Stefani nevertheless still decided to end their marriage. Former President Bill Clinton's tryst with Monica Lewinsky might be the most famous affair in American history. It shaped the way an entire generation looked at both dresses and the White House. The affair was uncovered in 1998 during an investigation into harassment allegations that were leveled at the president by Paula Jones in 1994. As lawyers attempted to build their case against him, a then 23-year-old Lewinsky signed an affidavit stating that the pair never had an affair. Little did she know that the FBI had bugged her close friend, Pentagon staffer Linda Tripp. Lewinsky had told Tripp about the affair without knowing the conversations were being recorded. It all came to a head when Clinton not only denied it in a legal deposition, but also on TV in front of the entire nation. But Lewinsky had kept a dress with DNA evidence of their encounter, and it was eventually uncovered. Clinton was later impeached for perjury and obstruction of justice, though he was eventually acquitted. As for the harassment suit, he settled out of court. If you lived through 2015, you probably read about what the tabloids labeled Nannygate. Ben Affleck was allegedly hooking up with his children's caretaker, Christine Uzunian, while he was on a 10-month trial separation from his wife, Jennifer Garner. At the time, he was 42 and Uzunian was 28. The gossip remained murky until 2016 when Garner told Vanity Fair, We had been separated for months before I ever heard about the nanny. She had nothing to do with our decision to divorce. Bad judgment? Yes. It's not great for your kids for a nanny to disappear from their lives. I have had to have conversations about the meaning of scandal with my children. Garner and Affleck finalized their divorce in 2018, but the fallout from the scandal has endured since then. In a 2020 interview with the New York Times, Affleck revealed that his divorce, which was instigated by his unhealthy relationship with alcohol, was the biggest regret of his life. He further admitted, shame is really toxic. There is no positive byproduct of shame. It's just stewing in a toxic, hideous feeling of low self-worth and self-loathing. I really don't want my children to pay for my sins. In 2009, talk show host David Letterman shocked audiences when he went on air and boldly admitted that he'd slept with women who worked on his show. He couldn't really hide the truth as it turned out he was being blackmailed. The woman at the center of the scandal was Letterman's longtime assistant, Stephanie Burkett, who's nearly 30 years younger than him. At the time, she was sharing a home with her then-boyfriend, CBS News producer Robert Halderman, while Letterman was newly married to Regina Lasko. The year before Letterman's announcement, Halderman had found handwritten notes from Burkett that detailed the affair. She'd promised to end things with the comedian, but in August 2009, Halderman caught the couple embracing inside Letterman's car. He then reportedly threatened to expose the host unless he was given $2 million. Alderman was ultimately arrested for extortion and pleaded guilty, but that wasn't the end of it all, as Letterman still had to make things right with his wife. How did it, you make it better? I'm still trying to fix it. It's, it, it's, uh, it hasn't gone away. It'll never go away. There's a reason that Christy Brinkley had such a nasty divorce with Peter Cook. The couple's custody hearing was filled with absolutely wild allegations like Cook spending thousands of dollars on adult videos and possibly shoving his stepdaughter's head into a bucket of water. 
But the one that the press focused on the most was his affair with a woman named Diana Bianchi. Cook met Bianchi at a Hamptons toy store in 2004 when she was just a teenager. He initially hired her to work at his architecture firm and reportedly seduced her in the office soon after. He also reportedly showered her with gifts, hiding $500 for her outside of Brinkley's house and slipping more behind a painting. Bianchi told the New York Post that she was the one who ended it when sneaking around became too much to handle. Cook reportedly kept trying to contact her after that, though, even leaving notes on her car. He then reportedly paid her off with $300,000 in 2007 after fearing a scandal and a possible harassment lawsuit. Snow White and the Huntsman director Rupert Sanders sent shockwaves through the Twilight fandom when his affair led to the demise of one of young adult fiction's most powerful unions. In 2012, photos of a then 22-year-old Kristen Stewart canoodling with a 41-year-old Sanders hit headlines. At the time, Stewart and her on-and-off-screen love interest Robert Pattinson were just about the most famous couple in the world. To make matters even more scandalous, the affair happened under the nose of Liberty Ross, Sanders' wife, and Stewart's Snow White co-star. It was sensational enough to even warrant a comment from Donald Trump, who tweeted that Stewart had treated Pattinson like a dog. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, right? That's so crazy! The president <laughs> tweeted about you once. No, no, no. The president tweeted about me 11 times. <laughs> Both Sanders and Stewart issued a public apology following the release of the pictures, but it wasn't enough to save either of their relationships. Ross filed for divorce, while Stewart and Pattinson split, which was apparently so stressful that Stewart started losing her hair. For his part, Sanders told Metro, "'You never know what's coming in life. Around every corner, there's something unexpected, and that's life. You just have to brush yourself off and continue moving forward the best you can. Everyone makes mistakes. I am bound to make more mistakes, and I wouldn't expect my life to be exciting if I didn't." Jesse James isn't exactly known for fidelity. In fact, quite the opposite is true. He became a household name after cheating on his then-wife Sandra Bullock with a litany of women before the pair ultimately divorced in 2010. At the time, he even admitted to Nightline that he was, quote, "...the most hated man in the world." But that didn't stop him from proceeding to cheat on tattoo artist Kat Von D, who accused him of sleeping with 19 women. James would go on to reportedly cheat on his fourth wife, drag racer Alexis DeJoria, with a 33-year-old hairdresser named Myla Harris. It was an affair carried on through social media that never physically went all the way. Harris admitted that she exchanged risque photos and discussed James' fantasies through their Snapchat relationship. She told In Touch, I know that's awful because I know he's married. But in the back of my mind, I knew what type of person he was, and so I was like, why not? According to the Daily Mail, Harris wasn't the only one involved with James throughout his marriage to Dejoria, as he reportedly slept with at least 20 women. The couple announced their split in March 2020. Woody Allen has been the subject of his fair share of controversy over the years. One of the most notable instances happened in 1992 when news of his affair with Mia Farrow's then 21-year-old daughter Soon Yi Previn hit the headlines. Allen was 57 at the time. Farrow and her second husband, Andre Previn, had adopted Soon Yi from a Korean orphanage in 1977. By 1979, Farrow was then in a relationship with Allen. It was in 1991 that Allen began his affair with Soon Yi. He and Pharaoh were living in separate apartments across Central Park when she discovered that he had images of Soon Yi without her clothes on. So she confronted him, and he admitted that he and Soon Yi had been intimate. He later revealed that he intended to keep the entire thing a secret. But then about six months after coming clean to Pharaoh, he publicly announced that he was in love with Soon Yi. She and Alan would go on to get married in 1997, and they've been together ever since. Over the years, Alan has defended their relationship. In 2001, he told Time, "...the only thing unusual is that she's Mia's daughter. But she's an adopted daughter and a grown woman. I could have met her at a party or something." Matt Lauer has been the subject of controversy ever since he was fired from NBC in 2017 following allegations of misconduct. That same year, his alleged secret relationship with former Today intern Addie Collins came to light. At the time that their affair started in 2000, Collins was 24 years old, while Lauer was in his 40s and newly married to model Annette Roque. 
Collins had just accepted a position as a local anchor on WDTV in West Virginia and planned to leave NBC. She was hoping to get career advice from Lauer before she left the network. So the pair met for lunch, and Lauer reportedly, quote, aggressively hit on her. Confused and flattered, Collins leaned into it. They ended up in an affair that lasted four weeks. In 2017, she told Variety, it crossed the line. It was a consensual encounter. It happened in his dressing room above Studio 1A, which was empty in the afternoons. He got in his car, and I had to go back to work, and now my life had completely changed. The situation really took its toll on me. I changed physically. I changed emotionally. Fear crept into my life. I became unsure of myself. Any confidence I had was gone. For him, it was a conquest. I did feel very alone and isolated and unsure of what to do with this, and I just carried it because who wants to be that person? Roke ultimately filed for divorce from Lauer, which was finalized in 2019. Bill Clinton wasn't the only politician in Washington who had a cheating scandal in the 90s. But since that was dominating the news, Newt Gingrich was able to more or less brush his own affair under the rug, which happened while he was leading impeachment proceedings against Clinton. During his final year as Speaker of the House, he called his wife Mary Ann while she was visiting her mother and asked for a divorce, as he was seeing someone else. Shortly after, the couple went to therapy, and Mary Ann found out that her husband's mistress was Callista Bisek, a congressional aide 23 years his junior whom he later married. He reportedly gave Mary Ann two options during their counseling sessions, either open up the marriage so that he could see other women or get a divorce. She opted for the latter. In 2007, Gingrich reflected on his affair in an interview with ABC News, in which he admitted, There were times when I was praying and when I felt I was doing things that were wrong, but I was still doing them. I look back on those as periods of weakness and periods that I'm not only not proud of, but I would deeply urge my children and grandchildren not to follow in my footsteps. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.